done. Hey, how's hey. it going? Great. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. I want to ask you about something you said on the stage. You said tonight everything you had ever wanted had happened to you. You're 19 years old. How do you go about completely redefining what your life is supposed to be about at this stage of the game? That is a very good question. Um, well, tonight I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dance around with my band and my crew and my record label and freak and out because honestly, like eight seconds. Thanks. I never Thanks. imagined Quick. that the unattainable thing that I had always held in my happened to me at 19. Um, I couldn't be more grateful, but I love a challenge. And right now the challenge is to find that next challenge. How's it going? Good to see you too. Congratulations. Um, okay, I just gotta say that you've kept everybody in here so busy this year trying to keep up with you. I'm sorry. No, 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 we're thankful you keep us in a job. So, I wanted to say, um, as you go and do these things like Saturday Night Live, American Music Awards are coming up, um, and now, you know, Entertainer of the Year is the country music's highest honor. Do you consider yourself an ambassador for country music when you go in, into these other areas and, and do things like Saturday Night Live and, 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 and the American Music Awards coming up? I feel so lucky to be able to sing country music, and I feel so lucky to be able to take, um, take trips to New York City for the VMAs or go to New York for Saturday Night Live and sing country music in those places. Um, I have such a, such a gratefulness for the people who have been open-minded towards me. Uh, when I first went to country radio, nobody was used to playing songs by a 16-year-old writing songs about the, uh, the guy who sat next to her in class, and I am going to be forever grateful and uh, forever proud to be able to play country music, regardless wherever the venue may be. Hi, Taylor. Hey! Hey, uh, right off the bat, uh, Brad and Carrie uh, jokes off about county. W were you surprised about the jokes right away? They were right there. Uh, to kind of backing you up and, and making fun of Kanye. Were, were you prepared for that? Did they, did they let you in on that? Uh, I'm just excited to be at the CMA Awards, you know? Aren't you excited to be at the CMA Awards? It's been a fun night. And how are you gonna celebrate tonight? Um, I'm gonna go hang out with my record label and uh, my band members, and I've got a bunch of my crew here and management. Um, honestly, I owe so much of of that Entertainer of the Year Award to the people who set up that stage every night and uh, the people behind the scenes who are taking calls and sending emails and you know how to work a fax machine. You know, those, those people are going to be the ones that I spend time with tonight and uh, jump up and down and hug nonstop. Taylor. Going, I'm telling you. Well, the past couple, as Hunter said, the past you know couple of years have been chock full of moments for you. You know, Saturday Night Live, uh, your debut appearance on CSI, your upcoming film debut. You know, friends and parties and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> number ones. What stands out the most for you? I mean, is it, is it kind of all a blur? Because it's been probably a whirlwind for you. I think about 37 minutes ago is what stands out most for me in my whole life. Um, I, uh, you guys, I, I didn't expect that I was going to win an entertainer of the year. So I'm just, I'm just, you know, at a loss for words. Absolutely. And um, honestly, SNL. Before tonight, SNL really stands out in my mind um, as one of those things that I'm really going to look back on whenever I have a bad day or or anything like that. Because um, that was honestly that was the coolest week of my life. Just I felt like I was part of such a tradition, and getting to make friends with those people that make me laugh every Saturday. Um, that was something I'm never, ever going to forget. So, Saturday Night Live, and then tonight was really fun for me. <laughs>
Hi, Taylor. Congratulations. Thank you. Just three years ago, you were the 16-year-old girl that came into my office and played Tim McGraw for me with your guitar. <laughs> And it's so exciting to see how far you've come. I want to talk about the growth factor a little bit. I mean, you have gone from zero to 200 in just in such a short time. Talk a little bit about um, how it happened so fast and uh, handling all the success. Well, I feel very lucky to have been able to experience this. Um, in a way that I see it as having happened fast, and then I also see that there was a gradual build. Um, I've been able to attend several CMA Awards shows, so I know, I know what this means. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to have attended when I was 15 years old and had just signed a record deal, and then again when I was 16, and then when I was 17 winning the Horizon Award. Last year, having just put out Fearless, um, that was an honor to get to go to that and perform. Um, and I've watched every single year of my life, I've watched the CMA Awards. Every single year that I can remember watching the CMA Awards. So I know what this means, and that's why I'm so at a loss for words right now. Um, so uh, addressing the pace of my career, I feel like I, can, I look at it from both ways. Of course, this feels like, it feels like just yesterday that I was knocking on doors in Nashville and going, hey, will you listen to my demo? Uh, but then again, I feel so lucky to know you guys and to have talked to you in press rooms and um, to have been an opening act for every single person that I was nominated against in the Entertainer of the Year category. Um, I'm just, I'm just very appreciative right now. You are hilarious on Saturday Night Live. What Thank did, you. What did Taylor think of Taylor Lautner think of the parody? Huh? <laughs> Did he enjoy your performance? Hmm? <laughs> hey! Um, you're in such a unique position right now where not only are you filling arenas with young girls who idolize you and want to be you and, and want to follow in your footsteps, but then you've got legends like Dolly Parton and Barbara Mandrell that we've talked to this week who are citing you as one of the just amazing stars of country music. I mean, Barbara Mandrell was just back here and said she's got it all together. Reba has often cited you as a, you know, a, an amazing young businesswoman. Can you just sort of talk about wrapping your head around all that, that you're not only an example, but you're also being applauded by such country music legends for the way you're handling yourself in your career? Thank you for telling me that, because I didn't know about half that stuff. Thank you. Um, Wow, this this is such a great date right now. I um, it's honestly, it's such an honor to know that Reba McIntyre even knows my name, and Barbara Mandrell, and the people that I've looked up to for so long. Um, Reba has been so wonderful to me, as well as Faith Hill, who has been my idol. And uh. It's really something when you spend your whole life looking up to these women who stand on a stage and know how to wow a crowd and know how to make you want to be like them. And then when you, when you actually get to be around them and you realize that they're really as awesome as you thought they were, it's a really, really unique and special moment and I'm so thankful to have gotten to experience that moment with people like Reba and Faith Hill and Shania Twain and Barbara Randrell. Thanks for telling me about that. That's really nice. That's all we have time for. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys.